What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Mike Dolce Show. We're changing things up a little bit. As I said, the work has begun finally inside the studio. I got a great team. They're ripping wires out there, moving walls. We got all sorts of cool things going on. So I can't live stream today like I normally do for this five-part body recomposition series. Don't worry, I will host a live Q&A tomorrow, the team assures me. But right now, I wanted to make sure we got this video out. Part five, you've already gone through, you've watched part one, which breaks down the exact type of cardiovascular exercise we have to, we have to perform to maximize fat loss, right? Fasted or fed, list or hit or hurt, what does it have to be? I break that down in part one, cardio. Part two, I break down the exact type of resistance training program we need to follow to maximize muscular strength and size improvement, right? So we're burning body fat in part one. We're building muscle in part two. All the sets, all the reps, the percentage of one RM, and an exercise selection. Also days of the week built in part two of this series. Part three, we break down the food the exact food, the recipes, the ratios, the macros, the meal plan to dramatically transform your body. Part four, we break down the supplements, the fat burning, muscle preserving, strength increasing, dang sexy ass beasting supplement program that ties all this together. So stop the video right now if you have watched, if you haven't watched all four of these. Don't worry, we'll be here when you come back. Watch part one, part two, part three, part four. These are in order, but you don't have to watch the full 45 to 90 minutes of every video because I answer a lot of questions at the end of the video. Like the first five to 12 minutes is where I tell you what you need to know, like I'm gonna do on this one, and then I answer everyone's questions afterwards. So, today's video is probably the most important part. More important than cardio and strength training and diet or supplements, of course. Today's conversation is the one you need to hear. Because most of you should be in better shape. Most of you should be bigger. You should be stronger. You should be leaner. You should be lighter. You should be having a hell of a lot more consensual relations with members of the opposite or same sex. Really, that's up to you. I don't care. It's all good. But you should have so much more options in your life that you don't because of one issue. Now, this actually expands much farther than just your level of fitness. This actually affects your financial life. It affects your family life. It affects every aspect of your being. What is this? The one issue... The overriding issue, the biggest issue I come across in conducting over 1,000 one-on-one consultations per year, that's right, over 1,000 one-on-one consultations I perform every year working with great people just like you on a one-on-one basis. Go to DolceDietShop.com to schedule your one-on-one consult. Click the link below if you wanted to do that. But what I found, no matter who they are, elite athletes, Hollywood celebrities, leaders of industry, heads of state, regular working Joes and Janes, college students, people who just have not even begun their life yet, they all have the same issue. And here it is. And this is going to dramatically change everything about your day, your life, but most certainly body composition. The one issue people have is simply sticking to a program. Now, stick with me for a minute here. They just can't stick to the plan. They lose 5, 10, 15, 20 pounds or more. They're making momentum, and then they fall off, and they just can't stick to it. Now, if you're following some ridiculous keto program or intermittent fasting program or some sort of exclusionary restrictive fad dietary program, I get it. I get why you're gonna why you're gonna fall off that crap, because it's it's crap. But you listening right now, you watching right now, and anyone who's watched any like ten seconds of my content, you understand that the true key to success is simply by following a healthful whole food diet, by exercising intelligently and consistently, 
by getting restful sleep of seven and a half to nine hours every night, by eliminating external stress, right? You understand that these basic, very simple tenets of life will dramatically improve your success infinitely. There is no cessation of improvement when you're simply doing the things that I just said. We can get in and dial the macros and we can, you know, increase the list or the hit or all the other training programs. We can throw in some thermogenic aids like we discussed in part four of this series to improve progress. But if you don't stick to an intelligent program to start with, you will never have success. Now, don't worry, I have the solution. That's why I get hired. That's why I'm so busy. That's why I make the money that I do. Because high-level individuals who have to perform understand what it takes in order to get to the next level. And they seek out individuals like myself. And I say this humbly, but it's a fact. This is what I do, and I am one of the best in the world at doing it. I help people go from where they are to where they want to be. We build a bridge of success to get them where they want to go. Now, let me give you an analogy. Let me ask you a question. If I want a tree to fall, if I want to chop down a tree, if I want to see that tree laying in the dirt so I can chop that up and turn it into firewood or a table or a chair or a cabin, I want that tree to fall, what's the most important thing I need to do? Now, a wise ass in the audience, when I speak about this at different conferences and seminars, will say, sharpen the axe. The old Abraham Lincoln quote, you have two hours to chop down a tree, you spend the first hour sharpening your axe. Sure, great. Episode one, two, three, and four of this series, that's the sharp axe. Part one through four, that's the sharp axe. You have the program, the exact program, the exact cardio, the exact strength training, the exact nutrition, the exact supplement program you need. Great, that's the sharp axe. The most important part isn't that sharp axe. The most important part is the individual standing in front of the tree, swinging that axe over and over and over and over until that tree eventually falls. Now, here's what happens. You're excited. You sharpen the ax. You have the program. You're ready to go. You put on your little boots. You put on your little jacket. You walk out. You pick up that sharp and shiny ax, and you start swinging it, and you start making progress, and by golly, you're actually doing pretty good, and then, ow, my hands hurt. You get uncomfortable. Your shoulders get tired. It starts to rain. The sun goes down. It gets cold. Your wife leans out the window in a little bathrobe that's maybe got nothing under it. Your buddy pulls up in the pickup truck with a case of beer in the back headed to the game. Your favorite shows on TV. You smell dinner. And what do you do? You stop swinging the axe. You put it down next to the tree. And you walk back in the house. You sit down on the couch. You grab a cup of cocoa. You cozy up next to the fire. And you quit. The tree's still out there. The axe is sharpened. It's a sharp axe. The axe is ready to go. But you're not there swinging it. The greatest program in the world, my friends, does not work if you don't. So when I speak to these A-plus level individuals or individuals who have yet to have any success in their life, but potentially success is, is unlimited to them, They have simply not stood in front of the tree long enough to chop it down. So how do we do that? I'm going to wrap this up for you right now. The next two minutes, this is the money shot all over your face. The next two minutes is going to tell you. So what do we do? We set a schedule. We have structure. We have a routine. We organize our life. Success then becomes guaranteed. This is what I do. Every single day, I wake it up, wake up at the same time. Monday through Sunday, doesn't matter to me. I wake up without an alarm clock 
every single day. My eyes open freely, and what do I do? When my eyes open, I swing my feet over the side of the bed. I stand up. I walk out the door without question. When I'm sore, when I'm tired, when I'm sad, when I'm cold, when I'm lonely, when I'm hurt, when I'm sick, doesn't matter. Action. Action equals outcomes. Action equals outcomes. Say it again. Action equals outcome. And just like you standing in front of that tree, one swing of the ax is great. 10 swings is awesome. It's going to take you 1,000 swings, 10,000 swings, depending on the size of that tree. Certain goals we have are smaller. Might take you 30 swings to knock it down. Other, other goals we have are big red oaks. Might take you 10 years, but you never stop swinging. You never put down the ax. You never go back in the cabin and sit down with that cup of coffee. And if you are the type of person who believes you deserve to take a break before your goal is accomplished, you're wrong. You will not achieve it. The individuals that I work with that pay me tens of thousands of dollars to work at the highest level buy into it which is why they make many multiples. They add many, many zeros to the back of that little tiny fee I may get paid. And here it is for you for free. There is no magic macro program. There is no magic pill. There is no magic pharmaceutical psychedelic supplement to pop you out of bed. There's no 4.30 a.m. Jocko, no, no Wim Hof 42 degree Arctic water submersion, no Aubrey Marcus DMT hallucinogenic experience. Love those guys. That has a part in this. But if you do not commit to swinging the ax every single day, all those little fun little things that you subscribe to for a few days or a few weeks, you read the book, you hear the podcast, you get motivated. If you don't do it every single day, it doesn't matter. If you don't wake up at the same time every single day, it doesn't have to be 4.30 a.m. It can be 6 a.m. Like me, 10 of 6 is, is kind of my go-to time. I probably get more done in a single day than most, most humans probably do, right? I, I don't know. I, I, I'd be willing to have that competition. I get a ton done in my day and I feel amazing and I have more than enough time for my family, for my business, for my personal health, for research, for self-development, all these fun things to hang out and speak with you for free. So here's how we do it. We wake up at the same time every day. Now, if your start time, what start time mean? Start time is the first thing you have to do, right? Have to do. When do you log on? I like that term. When do you log on? Because I deal with a lot of people working remotely. So when do you log on? You work from home. I log on at nine o'clock. What time do you wake up? They're like, I don't know, like quarter of. You're not ready for the day, bro. You're behind the eight ball. How do you get anything done? He's like, yeah, I know, man. It's really hard. And, you know, and then I'm stuck on calls. And I can't get up and I'm hungry. And I got to this, I got to that. And all of a sudden it's a mess. Their life is a mess. Right. So here's what you do. What time do you log on and log on might be the first thing you have to do. You log on. You got to wake the kids up at 710. They have to be to school at, at 815. OK, cool. 710. You log on. Here's what you do. Listen. You have to get out of bed one hour before you log on one hour before you have to do anything. That one hour is your golden hour. It's the most important hour of your day. I don't care what else you have to do in your life. That one hour is your hour and your hour alone. That allows you to do all the things you need to do for you to prepare you for the rest of the day. Now you are structured. This one hour gives you structure. You wake up at 6.10. You wake up at 5.50, whatever time that is. I have to log on at 7.10 in my life, which means I have to be out of bed at 6.10. Me personally, I get up at 5.50 on average, like 5.46, 5.51. It's before 6 a.m. every single day like clockwork, and I get out of bed immediately because that's bonus time. I wake up, I use the restroom, I wash my hands, I brush my teeth, I step on the scale, I drink 32 ounces of room temperature water, I bang back a double espresso, and I sweat and I move. I hit the elliptical, I hit the pre-core, I do some sprints outside, I walk on the beach, I, I go to the sand dunes, whatever it might be, I ride the bike, whatever it might be, I get that good sweat, that 20 to 60 minutes for me, that sweat. Then I come home, I schedule my goals for the day, I know what I need to do while I'm preparing my breakfast, I sit down, I write my five goals, fitness, 
family finance future for me, right? I get my goal set ready to go. Now my kids are up there ready. I take them to school. That's my log on time. I'm there. We're all eating breakfast together, doing the thing together. It's perfectly fits, right? I've structured my life so I can be a part of my children's morning and I can be the dad that takes my kids to school. I get up an hour before my kids get up, an hour and a half almost before my kids get up. My wife gets up so she can do the things she needs to do before she has to wake the kids up. She can wake up and do her thing. She can wake up and make her coffee. She can wake up and write. She can wake up and relax, sit on the deck, do what she needs to do before then. Get the kids little berets. I got young kids at home, right? They can't dress themselves yet. Got to get their little things ready for the day. She can do all that. She has her time. So then there's no stress. We can take our time and float through our day. Imagine if we all woke up late. Nothing would get done. But this builds structure. I wake up. I'm hydrated. I'm caffeinated. I've gotten my cardio through the day. I've gotten my workout done. I got, or I've got my food ready to go. I got my plan, got my structure, got momentum. I've already been stacking wins all morning. Because I've stacked wins all morning, I will not blow that by making a bonehead decision later on in the day without that one hour. And try this. Now, oh, 6 o'clock a.m., 5, 7, whatever time, that's too early. It's because you go to bed too late, my friend. If you cannot go to bed early enough to wake up early enough, you'll never be successful. I don't care if you wake up at 10 a.m. or 5 a.m. Doesn't matter to me. All I care about is you get seven and a half to nine hours of sleep and you go to bed early enough to make sure that happens. So you wake up one hour before you have to log on, right? If you have to log on at 7 a.m., you have to be out of bed at 6 a.m. Log on means you got to get in your car to drive to work if you're driving to work, right? That not, I have to be at work at 8, at, at 8 a.m. If that's the case and it takes you 45 minutes to get there, well, hell, you need to log on at 7.15, which means you got to be awake at 6.15. So you can get all your stuff done before you have to log on and do your other stuff. Does this make sense, please? I hope this makes sense. This is not some metaphysical BS. This is not some, some crap I'm trying to ram down your throat. I'm telling you the truth. You have to be accountable. It doesn't have to do with your stupid steroid stack or your supplement stack or your, your body part split or any of that other f uh, crap that they peddle on YouTube fitness. It's you becoming accountable for your actions. You becoming intentional with your actions, you becoming mindful of the outcome of your actions. This is the most important part about it. You want to recomposition your body. You finally want to have that lean physique. When you take your shirt off at the beach, everyone turns their head and wants to see what you look like, right? You want to finally be that person who is fit, healthy, confidence, smashing goals and making it look easy. Wake up an hour earlier and plan your day. Focus your day. Be ahead of the day. Everywhere I go, on, I'm on time. Everywhere I go, I'm on time and I'm never stressed. Why am I never stressed? Because I'm on time. Because I got a coffee in my hand, <laughs> right? I can stop and grab a cup of coffee no matter where I'm going, no matter what I'm doing, and stand in line and not worry. I don't have to speed up when the yellow light clicks on. I can actually slow down and let another car go in front of me. No worries. I'm not in a rush. I'm fucking cool, bro. My day is going great. I'm ahead of schedule. Everything I do, I'm ahead of schedule. Not because I'm special, because I'm structured. Because I'm diligent, because I'm disciplined, because I am intentional with my actions and mindful of the outcome. That's it. Actions equal outcomes. Actions equal outcomes. That's the mantra. Actions equal outcomes. That defines everything we do. It's our action or lack of action. That dictates your outcome. If you are not fucking lean as shit, if you are not jacked as shit, if you are not rich as shit, if you are not just loved as shit, it's because you're making poor actions. You're choosing intentionally to either act poorly or not to act at all. And there are outcomes associated with every action or inaction you choose. So it's all a choice. 
So how is this a fat loss, body recomposition, muscle building, strength building, performance, fitness video? This is everything it boils down to, right? Go look at any great bodybuilder. They're always a good example because bodybuilders are the, the, the example of discipline. They live the same boring fucking day over and over and over and over and over again. And they thrive in that. And that's the why they get down to 3 4% body fat at 265 pounds. Forget all the dangerous pharmaceuticals they're ejecting in them, themselves. I'm, you know, a whole nother conversation there. Lots of idiots at your, your local Globo gym do the same thing and don't look anything like these, these high-level bodybuilders. What truly sets them apart from each other is that discipline. That daily grind. Now, my grind is not their grind. I get to hang out and have fun. I love every moment of my day. In fact, my actions allow me so much more freedom than the average person. I could wake up and take my kids to school. I could pick both my kids up at different schools at different times during the day. I can go and hang out my, with my wife in the middle of the day. I can really go anywhere, anytime I want and do whatever the hell I want because I'm intentional with my actions leading up to that, allowing myself to do that. I can handle all my business because I'm completely structured with my time. I'm accountable and responsible. I don't defer any responsibility to anyone else. I accept it completely for myself, especially my fitness, especially my fitness. I've been posting a ton on my Instagram finally lately about my own personal fitness training. Right? You see, I'm in the gym all the time. I'm crushing my workouts, early morning workouts, late afternoon workouts. I'm a busy guy, my friends. I'm a, I'm a flipping busy damn guy. Right? Let, let's not forget, I'm a busy human being here. I got two toddlers in the house. Right? I'm married man with a wife, with a hoe, with all the stuff. Yeah, I run three different companies, two of which you don't really know about, the one of which I'm actually working for right now, working with you, speaking to over a 1,000 humans per year, running, it, running, running a team of dietitians, creating nonstop content, running an online health and fitness platform, right? Producing podcasts. This YouTube channel consistently grows. This is hard work. This takes a lot of time. Writing blogs and articles, guest speaking, traveling, all the consultations I do. And then filling new content, two new books coming out in the next 12 months. That takes a lot of dang time. So where do I get all this time in my day? I'm intentional. I get up early. I go to bed early. I, I'm probably in bed earlier than almost every one of you. I mean, if I'm awake at 930, that's a late night. I get so much cool stuff done. And I only say this because don't think that you're not going to have a fun life. <laughs> it's so funny. I feel amazing in my own skin every day, everywhere I go. I feel like a fucking God. Not, not in a, in a, in a dis disrespectful way. I feel like I can drop me off on top of a mountain, drop me off in, in a desert valley, and I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. I feel great. I am completely confident in my abilities and my health and fitness to deal with whatever situation is put in front of me. I have to strip down into a loincloth in front of 10,000 people. I'm cool with that. I will feel exactly as comfortable in that outfit as I do in the one I'm wearing in front of you right now. I will not be self-conscious. There was a time in my life that I would be like, oh, hell no. Oh, hell no, I got the muffin top hanging over my shorts, and I got that donut around my belly, and I'm, man, my abs aren't fucking, I'm, I can barely even see my abs right now. Uh-uh, I'm not going to do that because I was making poor actions. I was, I was not intentional with my actions, my friends. So that's what this rant is about. It's more of a rant here. This is, this is your Uncle Mike. This is your buddy now, right? Forget all the fitness expert BS. Forget all the all the all the, the the cardio and all the strength training and all the 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 macro manipulation and all the the fat loss supplements. Forget all that stuff. That's great. That's the sharp axe. We've sharpened the axe. Now it's me standing next to you saying, "Swing the fucking axe, man. Swing the axe again, 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 again." I know it's cold. I know you're sore. I know you're tired. I know it's raining. The tree is still standing. The tree is still standing. Don't stop. You're getting closer. You're one step closer. You're one swing closer. Keep swinging. Keep swinging. That's it. Every day, keep swinging. That's it. Every day, keep swinging. That's it. Right? 
This is what you must do. What you must, must, must do. So leave comments below. Let me know what you think about this. If you have any questions, please post them below. I'll do a live Q&A tomorrow. We'll talk more about this entire program, all five parts of this series now. We'll talk about tomorrow. We'll tie it together. Uh, maybe around 2 p.m. tomorrow, I think, Friday, Eastern Standard Time, around 2 p.m. for those who watch this now. If you want to perform those one-on-one -on -one consultations, let me break down your whole life. Tell me ex everything you got going on, what your schedule is, all the challenges that you're dealing with. I'm happy to help you break that down those one-on-one -on -one consults you can go to dolcedietshop.com to set that up also if you want to join our four-week or 12-week online weight loss program totally personalized to you to your background to your lifestyle to your goals go to the dolcedietcom right now and get locked in get locked in right now start right now and use promo code burn fat burn fat all one word save 20 percent. today is the last day that code will be active we're going to wipe everything away get in amazing shape there's what six six weeks left before january 1st is that the truth seven weeks maybe seven mondays before january 1st can you think about that we only have seven more shots at this can you think about that can you can you imagine that right now let's become intentional what can you do? Can you lose 10 pounds between now and the end of the year? How about 20 pounds? Can you lose 20 pounds between now and the end of the year? Can you start January 1st in the best shape of your life and be on bonus time on the sprint to summer? Why not? I am happy to help you get there. Let's do that. Let's do this together. Guys and gals, I appreciate you for being here. Thank you for hanging out with me for this period of time. Um, and until next time, boom.